What's going on guys? Geos now right here, so in today's video I'm going to present you another version of Yalu Jailbreak and this time it's called Yalu Space. Now it does look good and if you want to use something else than the original stock Yalu that is plain white, then you can either use Yalu Dark, Yalu Blue and now you have also Yalu Space. So we're going to get right into that. So uh, if you do not know what Yalu Dark is, this is my own version. Apparently you can see it has a uh, notification from where you're reaching the end of the certificate, which is seven days. Now it's day six and as you can see it gives me this and this is how it looks like my own version but if you want to use somebody else's version and you don't want to use the original one then I have discovered this one which is called Yalu Space. Uh, it was created by a guy called uh, Jake I guess. Let me see on uh, on the GitHub. Yes, Jake A. James and uh, the project is called Yalu Space. It does include the source code so you're safe. You can check out the source code to see if there are any you know, shady things done, but there aren't. So this is how it looks like. I have tested this, it does jailbreak and it has a couple features in here. Uh, as you can see, enable the substrate, uh, reinstall Cydia, raise the vnode limit and so on. So um, this raise vnode limit is something intriguing for me. Apparently if you enable this, it does uh, raise this vnode limit and uh, you can see in here what it does. It says, quote, increasing vnode limit might help, or sorry, may help with stability issues on the Yalu jailbreak. It's an experimental feature and there is absolutely no way I can close this window now. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, uh, that's probably a bug. I have reported that bug, including the fact that I can write in this, um, in this thing, as you can see from here, I am able to to write in here for some reason, which shouldn't happen. And I did uh, report that this, this bugs to the um, author, he's probably going to fix them, but this doesn't affect the way the jailbreak works. And yes, it does look good. I mean, if you do like blue a lot, you're probably going to like it. And it's, uh, the reason I present you this is because it works good and because it does have the source code available. So if you go ahead in here on a view code, let me try to uh, reload it. If you go ahead to view code in here, as you can see, you have yellowspace.ipa updated five days ago. This is the one you download in order to, to install the application and jailbreak with it. And you have yaluspace.zip, which contains the source code. If you want to fiddle with it, or if you want to analyze it for, I don't know, to, to check if it's legit or it doesn't have any malware and stuff like that. Now, things that I recommend to the offer, make the status bar white, because the black one is ugly. And on the iOS 10 to 10.2, 64-bit only here on the bottom, add something like iPhone 7 is not supported because this does not support the iPhone 7, although it might look like it does from the cap caption here. Uh, the iPhone 7 is not supported because the iPhone 7 uh, uses the extra recipe or uh, Yalu Plus Mac Portal, and this one is Yalu 102, so it works from iPhone 5S to iPhone uh, 6S Plus, I guess, or SE, uh, something like that. Anyways, it doesn't support the iPhone, um, the iPhone uh, seven. Anyways, let's jailbreak with it and see how it works. By the way, if you're jailbroken with the original Yalu or if you're already jailbroken with Yalu Dark or Yalu Blue, jailbreaking with Yalu uh, Space will work. I mean, it's not going to break your device, it's not going to break your jailbreak. They are cross compatible because only the user interface is changed and some additional minor features that are not part of the jailbreak code. So it does work. The same thing for Yalu Dark, the same thing for Yalu Blue. So I'm going to jailbreak with it and be right back. Alright, so I have uh, Geo broken my device. As you can probably see from the video, I decided not to update the substrate because I didn't want a, uh, a rest spring. So I'm going to test it. Yep, it does work. It does load Cydia. It does load the installed components in here. So you should be good to go, I guess. Yeah, it does look good. Um, there are a couple bugs that I have discovered. For example, when you're jailbroken uh, and you did uh, disable the substrate, it does show you jailbreaking. It still show you jailbreaking, although it did already jailbreak. But I guess these are bugs that are going to be fixed. I already reported all of them to the uh, author, so he's going to probably fix them. But anyways, it does look good. The interface looks cool. And if you're a fan of the blue and you want to you wanna use that, you can definitely do that. It's, it is stable. I have tested it and it is stable, at least on my iPhone 6. So definitely try it if you want. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Give this video a thumb up if you love it. If you don't, give it a thumb down. Tell me in the comment section down below which of these three versions of Yalu or four, the original one, Yalu Dark, Yalu Blue or Yalu Space, are you using and why? Peace out.